Hi everyone, welcome to the short informal video that we have put together exclusively for some of you who may be interested in applying to our programs here at Amrita Institute of Medical Sciences. My name is Dr. Sahadev Shankarappa and I'm one of the faculty here at the center. For the next 15 to 20 minutes, I'll be taking you through our department about the courses we offer, the syllabus, job prospects after the courses and about our students and many more. But firstly, a bit about the center. We are located within the Amrita Institute of Medical Sciences campus in Cochin, Kerala. We are literally inside the hospital. The Ames campus is located just 14 kilometers from the beach, two kilometers from one of the largest malls in India, and the backwaters are pretty much in our own backyard. Amrita Center for Nanosciences and Molecular Medicine is one of the premier centers for nanotechnology and molecular medicine in India. It focuses on the application of nanotechnology in the biomedical area and in energy areas. In addition, its focus on molecular medicine is especially unique because of its interdisciplinary nature where we are looking at the interface of molecular medicine and technology. The center was started in 2006 uh, as a center of excellence under the Department of Science and Technology's nanomission program and for the last 15 years it has continued to remain as a center of excellence and the center has moved from focus on basic aspects of nanotechnology all the way through applications and products. The department offers master's courses in three programs. These include molecular medicine, nanobiotechnology and nanoscience and technology. These courses usually attract students from diverse backgrounds such as engineering, medicine, dental, and fundamental and basic sciences. Both the MSc and MTech courses offered by our program are for a duration of two years. The first year is theory intensive, while the second year focuses mainly and heavily on hands-on research. After graduation, our students are spread out all over the globe. Some have gone ahead to pursue their PhDs in national and international universities. Others have joined various biotech, pharmaceutical, and medical device industry in Bangalore, Mumbai, Chennai, and other cities in India. Now let's talk a bit more in detail about individual courses. To help you out, we have individual faculty from each course telling you about how things are in each program. Nanobiotechnology is an interdisciplinary science which involves a confluence of subjects like physics, chemistry, material science, mathematics and to a great extent biology or biotechnology. The real world applications of this particular interdisciplinary science is in fields such as drug delivery, cancer, tissue engineering, regenerative medicine, etc. The students who come to this particular course can undertake both master's degree in technology, that is MTech, as well as a master's degree in science, that is MSc. So we offer two courses, MSc in nanobiotechnology and MTech in nanobiotechnology. This is a very research-oriented course, wherein the main emphasis in this particular center is on research activities. So the students who come into this particular course will get a very good hands-on training with state-of-the-art equipments which are already there in the center. Majority of the students opt for research as a career after their master's degree. Otherwise, there are students who opt for biotechnology jobs as well as jobs in pharmaceutical industries and various other biofields as well. So the subjects uh, that will be handled in this particular course include uh, fundamentals of material science, then uh, how we can synthesize nanomaterials and how do we design nanomaterials, then a whole lot of uh, fundamentals in uh, the nano field of nanotechnology which encompasses quantum mechanics and the like and then talking about the application side wherein drug delivery will be discussed, tissue engineering, uh, then of course the biological uh, subjects such as cell biology and molecular biology and uh, disease diagnosis etc. So it actually covers a whole array of diverse courses spanning from all these disciplines which I already mentioned. Myself is uh, Dr. Krishna Kumar Menon and uh, just wanted to discuss a uh, few things about the course which we run called the Molecular Medicine. What Molecular Medicine means? Molecular Medicine is the molecular aspect of medicine. This means that in a disease scenario, these 
expression of these molecules or the function of these molecules is being altered. As a result of that, there could be expression of some molecules high or functional aspects may be changed. The use of these molecules to address the issue of disease is molecular medicine. Molecular medicine is the study of molecular structures and mechanism. It helps identify fundamental molecular and genetic errors of various diseases. It is also about developing molecular interventions to correct them. Uh, it also helps perspectives to emphasize on cellular and molecular phenomena which helps in treatment of diseases. In order to address the different aspects of molecular medicines, we have structured our course in such a way that we will cover the diagnostic, the therapeutic as well as the prognostic aspect of the disease so that the patients here are benefited very well. Applications of molecular medicine is to provide genetic and molecular markers indicative of higher risk of a disease as well as to identify environmental risk factors. And the different courses we do offer are uh, human physiology, molecular basis of diseases, genetic engineering, human genetics, clinical microbiology, etc. In addition to this, after passing out from here, the students will be fully equipped such as a hands-on training on different aspects of this thing so that they could get uh, positions in academia as well as industry. Nanoscience refers to fundamental understanding of properties of matter that is nanometer in size in at least in one of its dimension. Nanotechnology refers to controlled manipulation of nanoscale matter for suitable applications to mankind. You know, the real world applications of nanoscience and nanotechnology are plenty, but to mention a couple of them, we have nanoscale semiconductors which enabled modern electronics that we are basically using in mobile phones and laptops currently. And of course, the nanoscale magnetic material which enabled high density data storage which we are using in, again, the laptops or any memory devices. Nanoscience and nanotechnology are the forefront of current research and future products. So fast growing nanoscience and technology requires experts having in-depth knowledge and understanding to make what today looks like a science fiction a reality for tomorrow. Such professional skill sets are developed only through strong theoretical background and practical knowledge in multiple disciplines including physics, chemistry, material science and engineering. As part of science program, you will learn through foundation courses such as solid state phenomena at nanoscale, chemical thermodynamics, nanophotonics, and so on and so forth. While at the technology part, you will focus on the energy applications such as energy storage, conversion, and hydrogen storage materials. Typically, the students will spend two semesters in the lab for their projects on innovative research by developing nanomaterials for energy applications. For example, one of the students recently developed a surface engineered lithium ion battery cathode material for ultra-fast charging applications, while another student developed a new surface passivated nanomaterial for high efficiency third generation solar cells. Hi, I'm Amata. I'm pursuing MTech in molecular medicine at the center. For those of you who are looking forward to do your further studies at the center, I'd like to highlight the research facilities here. You get to learn from world-class scientists who will orient you in the field of research, both in academia and industry. All our professors are very approachable. They will guide you in every sense of the word. I'm sure that when you pass out, you would have made a quantum leap, both in theoretical as well as practical knowledge. Hi, I am Sohini and currently I'm pursuing my MTech in molecular medicine. I am in my final year and now I'm doing my dissertation. So I hail from Shillong and my journey from the other corner of the country to here has been totally worth it. This place has one of the best lab infrastructures and uh, it also provides opportunities to the MTech students or the master students uh, to have a hands-on experience on all the on various instruments and uh, lab techniques under the guidance of some best uh, faculties. Uh, my next plan says I want to work in uh, industri industrial companies, so I'll be, I'm looking for jobs currently. Hello, I'm Lavanya. I'm doing my M.Tech in uh, Nanomedical Science. I'm basically coming from Chennai. Uh, this place uh, will make you very professional in the way you see things. When you come here, you'll come as a fresher who will go back as a professional. Uh, when it comes to research, uh, they have lots of facilities which is available in just one floor. Uh, from beginning to starting your project, from choosing your material, 
to characterizing them and doing your animal studies all the facilities are available in just one place and i have never heard of any place like this and when it comes to the faculties uh, when coming to teaching as well as in research uh, we can see that they are all very expertise in what they are doing uh, they don't really concentrate on uh, uh, marks or uh, getting you to know everything but they just understand you and make you comfortable and make you knowledgeable and in research you have a wide variety of option to choose from what project you want to do um after this i am planning to do my phd um they are also uh, exposing us to different uh, fields available for phds what are the projects that can be done in future i am uh, sanju s yes. i am coming from trivandrum i graduated uh, in electronics and communication engineering in the year 2004 there after i had a little bit of industrial experience Here I joined in the year 2017 in MTech for MTech in Nano Medical Sciences. My interest was towards medical research. That's why I chose this. After coming here, as you may be knowing, my background in biology was only 12th standard. But here, after coming here, I had to start learning everything from basics. So I have never faced any problem with a, a non-exposure to biology in my graduation and all. Here. I am comfortable happy and I am doing my level best in research. Hi I am Lakshmi I am pursuing my masters in molecular medicine. I joined the center in 2017 and I come from a biotechnology background. So since then my growth in this center all thanks to the academicians the dynamic set of faculties and the infrastructure my growth has been in leaps and bounds. Among the different aspects that this place has to provide the best part is that in spite of being an mtech you get an hands on training of everything of around almost all the techniques all the uh, instruments present in this place so at an mtech level to get such an exposure it's very rare and unique and which i think has benefited all of us the most as you can see we are like a big family where we work hard and play hard The courses offered in our center are designed to get our students the best foothold in the next steps of their career. We hope you will consider Amrita Center for Nano Sciences and Molecular Medicine for your masters. You can get all the information about eligibility, entrance exam and the procedure of application in the link below. Good luck with your application process.